Hi, welcome to The Sword and Pearl. This channel is devoted to empowering those who are walking with God at whichever stage you are in your journey. At the moment, we're focusing on a series that is about praying the Psalms. So I invite you to stick around until the end of the reading of the Psalm and come into agreement with the prayer into that Psalm. I promise you this will elevate your life as it has mine, simply making it a daily habit to pray the word of God back to him has been a tremendous blessing and I know it will be for you too. So I'm so glad to have you here today. Today we're going to be reading Psalm 4, which is David praying for God to hear him. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that Yahuwah hath set apart him that is godly for himself. God will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in God. There be many that say, who will show us any good? God, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for you, God, only make me to dwell in safety. Let's pray into this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you hear us when we call. You are the God of our righteousness, and you have enlarged us when we were in distress. Thank you that you have had mercy upon us and that you hear our prayers. Father, we thank you that you have set apart for you those who are godly for yourself and that you will hear me when I call unto you. Help me to commune with my own heart upon my bed Help me to be still. Help me to offer to you the sacrifices of righteousness and put my trust fully in you. Thank you, my King, that you lift up the light of your countenance upon us. Thank you that you have put gladness in my heart more than at any other time when there was great increase. Thank you, my King, that you make me to lie down in peace and to sleep, because you only make me to dwell in safety. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Friends, I hope that this prayer blessed you, and I pray that you have and exceedingly abundantly above all you can hope, think, or imagine. Awesome day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.